right away I thought it was a really good idea because it would save lots of paper and as an instructor I could access the students' work anytime I wanted. And I already had a couple of websites up and running, so I knew the types of learning experiences the students would go through to build their own. And so um, I think constructing one was probably one of the best ideas for a learning opportunity for the students that there was. It's a great idea. I have the students who don't have one already follow the select guidelines for building it properly. And some of them don't do it real well yet, but most of them build a logical one, which is really good. And then I have them post all of their assignments on it. And um, I have a couple of signature assignments at the very beginning of class. I have them do a reflection paper about where their, what their health status is when they start. And then at the end, I have them build one or write a reflection paper and upload it to the portfolio on the differences between when they started the class and after and what their learning experience and um, feelings about themselves, how, they can actually see how they've improved during the course. Um, well, I give them the two reflections and then I also give them a few extra credit assignments. And those are, they basically get to choose what they do within a framework of what the curriculum is. And on those, I encourage them to do like a different type of an upload, like maybe a PowerPoint. And I want them to do a lot of illustrations because I know when you're working online that people want to see pictures. They not just want to see a lot of text. So I really encourage them to post either their own pictures or ones they've taken or ones they copy off the internet that are applicable. Now the reflection's really important, I think, because it allows a student to realize its growth and it empowers the student to keep seeking new information and um, a deeper, they get a deeper and more meaningful experience if they really understand where they've come from versus where they started. And it allows the viewer of their website to understand the thinking process of the student and learn from the way that they construct and express themselves. And I think that's really important if you're a potential employer because it gives you some insight into where the student, how the student's mind works and how he develops and how he um, builds and thinks and goes from point A to point B, which employers really look at that type of thing. Absolutely should be required that every faculty member build their own e-portfolio and every student should build their e-portfolio, get advice from the experts, um, do it and do it now. The learning experience from building your own website is so huge, I can't even quantify it. I, I learn more building my websites than probably any other single thing in the last 30 years. It's huge, the amount of information you have to process to construct a good website. And I think once everyone gets on board, the teaching applications will become obvious. Our present success and certainly our future success is dependent on our, on our ability to communicate effectively think critically and be engaged with the outside world. So building an effective and useful website is a tremendous tool to incorporate whatever knowledge and experience you need to get towards your career goals, towards your personal goals, 
These skills are directly in line with the general education learning and outcome course goals. You can communicate in almost any way you want to with the student wherever they're at at any time or any place. I mean, almost everyone has smartphones nowadays or tablets. And if you want, if you need them to maybe change something they're doing or add something to get a better grade or counsel them in some way, it's instantaneous. You can be virtually anywhere and help your student. You can answer a question immediately. The most important thing I'd le like to leave with my students is that their actions determine their outcome. Their actions determine their state of being. And so if a student understands the fundamental basis of the experience that he gains doing yoga and practicing the practices, and then it's a huge motivation for him to continue doing right actions because he can see that if he does this, then he's going to have peace of mind. If he does that, he's not. And so it's just a way for him to, it's a tool for him to grow and become, have more peace of mind and better health and better well-being.